I like to talk about people making uh, confident choices, and a confidence choice isn't necessarily objectively the best choice in you know, some other criteria you might use, like uh, cost or performance or something like that. So a confident choice is one you, you feel good about making, you like what you get, and you think you're not likely to experience regret. Anticipating regret is a big part of uh, how we frame our decisions. So I think the reason we like to cut things down very quickly is that we in fact face many choices which are almost the same and we really, really dislike choosing between near identical things because that takes a huge amount of sort of cognitive effort to sort between them. It's instructive that we call those de uh, decisions no-brainers, right? We want decisions where we don't have to engage our brain, clear, obvious decisions. So I think one of the things we have to think about is that when you're advertising, you're pushing information out into the world and people have ways of filtering that information out. So just as they have strategies for reducing decision making, they have strategies for working out whether information is useful for them. And that strategy isn't seeing whether that information is true and relevant. Uh, the simpler thing is you, sort of, you see uh, a new product and you say, well, is that like something I know? And if it is like something you know, then you can ignore it because you already have a solution. Uh, and then if it offers you a new sort of reason to believe about the world, you can say, well, is that consistent with what I believe? And if it is consistent, you go, well, I already knew that and I can ignore the information. And finally, if it confirms what you believe about the world, you can go, oh, I, I can see that it's important to have a smartphone with a larger screen, right? I already believe that, so the world is fine. We try and preserve our worldview uh, because that's what keeps our confidence level high. The role of branding is to help us make those confident choices. And if you're looking to construct those confident choices where you exclude a lot of stuff, then a, clearly a news brand is kind of, because it's a sort of a place I feel comfortable with, has my sort of values. And you think, well, anything mentioned in this world is fine for me, and anything which doesn't get mentioned is probably for other people. So it's a really... Uh, quite warm and comfortable way to make those kind of confident exclusions. People know that they can improve things and make better decisions, right? They don't necessarily want to lock everything in place, but they don't want to have to spend vast amounts of energy uh, and sort of cognitive effort with every single decision they make as if they're reinventing the wheel. One of the things you always have to bear in mind about the information people use to make decisions is the information that comes to you is less hard work than information you seek out. And it really doesn't matter how easy it is to seek out information, that's still not as easy as it seeking you out. Uh, so we do remain uh, sort of uh, open to people providing information they might feel is useful to us as long as it's done in a way that we find trustworthy and not selling too hard and so on. Because uh, it's still easier to read uh, or see a, a good ad, you know, in, a, in um, a colour supplement of a Sunday newspaper than it is to spend even a few seconds googling for the same stuff. So we do remain, I think, partial to a bit of serendipity in our lives as just a simple kind of low energy way of finding out about how the world works. One of the things that's interesting about this idea of micro salience is that uh, that very idea of a decision being specifically right for people like me who do the things that I do is that I think we get that more now from news brands than we do from any other medium. So, while we might really enjoy a television programme, it's just not as close a relationship as we have with a, a newspaper or a newspaper website. And uh, we might get that feeling maybe with local radio, but not quite in the same way. So creating that idea of a sort of tonally rich world where we feel people like me are, is something that news brands still deliver more than any other uh, media outlet. Because I think we know that if you want the best advice, that asking your closest friends, in fact, is not a good idea because they will tell you exactly what you want to hear. You're better off for asking someone who sort of knows you. So I think that's the interesting sort of in-between place that uh, something like a news brand can occupy where it's uh, relevant, but it's not totally partial.